Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be using the Lottie London Tweed Lee palette again. I know I used this in my last tutorial, but I really do love the palette. So I'm just going to be taking this light kind of brown transition shade. This is the shade Porky, and I'm going to be taking that on the Morphe M505 brush. And as you can see, I'm just going back in kind of window screen wiper motions and little circular motions just to blend that into my crease. So now I'm just taking this slightly darker, more sort of chocolatey brown colour in the palette, and I'm going to be taking Taking that on the 231 so either Lux Petite crease brush and as you can see I'm kind of just drawing that in the crease of my eye I'm not taking this as high as I took the other color but I'm just using again sort of backward and forward motions just to sort of blend this into my crease obviously as you can see at the moment it's not that blended this is more about just like packing the color on so it's all nice and intense in my crease and then I'm going back in with that first fluffy Morphe brush I love this brush so much I'm just basically um, blending that out with no extra product on the brush and then in a second I am just going to add a little bit more of that shade Porky which was the first shade we used as you can see here just to help me blend that out a little bit better so it's a little bit more seamless but I'm not taking it too high up to the brow. Now I'm just taking this Maybelline black gel eyeliner you can use any gel eyeliner you have but this is just the one I have and I'm just taking that on this MAC 242 brush which is kind of like a flat brush and as you can see I'm just basically painting that all over over my eye and I am going to be taking it up to kind of where my crease is but not as high as we put that other color so as you can see I'm basically just popping this over my whole eyelid so it's completely covered with the gel eyeliner and what I'm doing as well is really sort of wiggling that brush into my lashes so that it's nice and black in there as well and you can't see any skin and now I'm basically just taking the matte black eyeshadow in the palette this is on a double-ended uh, smashbox brush and I'm basically just packing that on to the gel eyeliner so that it's nice and dry and not too tacky on the eyelid. This next brush that I'm taking now is by Blank Canvas and this is the E10 brush which is a really kind of cute little blending brush which is perfect for looks like this and what I'm doing is just adding a tiny little bit of black eyeshadow at a time and just really really gently with this going back over that line that we have so we don't want to have a black line on our eyes so as you can see I'm really just pushing and wiggling that brush into to that line where we have the gel eyeliner with a little bit of black eyeshadow just a little bit at a time with this guys you need to be careful not to sort of overload it and not to bring it up too high and now I'm just going in with the same brush with the same sort of black excess on it and taking it into that uh, second brown shade that we use just to help me blend it through a little bit easier so with this bit I basically just kept going back and forwards into the black and then into that brown colour just to really blend it through and I did go back in with that first Morphe brush just to blend it in a little bit as well but you just need to take your time with looks like this and really go backwards and forwards and blend them. Now I'm just taking the excess of the brush so that there's a little bit less black and I'm just going back in with that brown shade just to help with a little bit of patchiness that I had on the corner of my eye and you really just want to keep blending basically until it looks nice and seamless. And now I'm going to be taking the Charlotte Tilbury Rock Chick palette and I'm going to be taking that glittery pop shade from this. This stage is optional, you can just leave it matte but I really wanted to add some glitter so it's nice and Christmassy. So I just basically packed this on the eyelid with my finger and as you can see it looks really nice and kind of like a starry night I think. I just love this look so much. After I finish packing it on, I'm just going to go back and quickly blend it again with that E10 brush just to make sure there's no glitter above the crease. And I'm going to be taking this Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner in the shade Bedroom Black. And I'm just going to be popping that in my top waterline. You do want to make sure you do this so that you can't see any skin. And now I'm just going to pop on some Samantha lashes from Huda. And now going on to the lower lash line, I'm using that um, pencil brush that we use from Zoeva. And I'm actually just going into the shade Porky, but it still has some of that brown shade, the darker shade left on it so I'm basically just popping the shade porky with a little bit of that brown shade mixed blending it under my eye and then going in with a clean blending brush to blend it out so just to keep packing this on until it's nice and intense and it's quite low down under the lash line as well now I'm just taking this angled brush this one is by Zoeva and I'm just basically drawing on some black eyeshadow under the lower lash lines I'm just keeping this quite close to my lashes because in a second I'm just going to be blending it out with that pencil brush again so that it's nice and blended and very sort of smoky looking so I just blended it out with that pencil brush that we use 
used and just going in and adding more black and blending it out again and now I'm just going to be popping that bedroom black eyeliner in the lower waterline as well just to make it nice and dark and smoky so that you can't see any skin showing. So then I just popped on some lower lash mascara and that is basically the look finished. I did upload a skin tutorial on my Instagram so head over there if you wanted to see how I created the skin makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!